Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. Today I have a very quick debugging video and this video is for those of you that might be running into this problem when using the random.range function. And here you can see I have this path that's being generated for our zigzag game, but this path doesn't look very random. It's just a straight line. And so let's go look at our code and see what the problem is. All right, so here I have this line of code where I'm using the random.range function and I'm passing in parameters zero and one. Now initially you might think that there's nothing really wrong with this line of code because you're trying to get a random value between zero and one. But this is actually a problem because the random.range function when using integer values as parameters will return a value from the minimum up to but not including the maximum. And the reason why it does this is because the random.range function can be used with float values. And when it's using float values, the precision of the decimal is actually so fine that it'll pretty much never return a perfect zero or a perfect one. And so when you're using ints, I actually wouldn't be surprised if it's converting the ints into a decimal value. And so when you're using ints, what's actually happening is it's converting our integers into floats. Then it's generating a random number with decimal points. And when it returns that value, it returns it being casted back into an int. And when you cast a float into an int, it just lops off all the decimals. And so looking for a number between zero and one will only ever give you a zero point something number. And so when it converts that back into an int, all the decimals go away and you're left with just zero. And so if you want to use the random.range function to find a number between zero and one, including one, then you actually need to pass in a two instead of a one. This will then find a number between zero and two, which will only ever be a zero point something number or a one point something number. And if it's a zero point something number, then the decimals will get chopped off and you'll be left with zero. And if it's a one point something number, then the decimals will be chopped off and you'll be left with one. And so the important note to remember is that whatever you want the max number to be, make sure that you add a plus one when you pass the value in as the max parameter. So now that I've changed the script, I'm going to save it and I'll go back to Unity. And when I replay my game, here you can see that I now have a truly random binary path. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. Also, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. In fact, there's a couple videos right over here that you might enjoy.